Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I'm here with Kimberly. We're going to minister to 10 people. Uh, before we start to minister, I want to encourage you. Um, we're going to minister to 10 people. If you would also like to receive ministry like this, write your name in the comments. I also have another channel, it's a teaching channel, and you can see some of the wonderful videos that we have there uh, that I've posted. Uh, wonderful teachings, and I try to make them entertaining and educational and spiritual so that you can be impacted both emotionally and spiritually <laughs> with the videos uh, so uh, we're going to start to minister now the first person i want to minister is simon plate okay so simon uh, the lord shows me how he has a business crown for you in your life in the bible it says there that we are called as kings and priests and i see the kingly anointing of god that is placed upon your life but i felt the doorway to the business crown is the sales crown so i felt you're gonna sell you're going to sell products, uh, you're going to be excellent at loving people and helping them to solve their problems and do sell, sell wonderful products. And then uh, as you go up in your ability to sell, then I'm going to open up an avenue where you can be in business and you can be in a position of ownership and the Lord can bless you. God bless you, Simon. Amen. Simon, please leave us a comment. This next word is for uh, Giovan. The Lord shows me how he's extending to you like, like a branch. So, um, like in like the Bible, it says like he is the vine and we are the branches. But I see how how for this instance you are a vine and you are growing up this wall and there's and vines need to cling onto things. And I just see how the Lord is like putting Himself to cling onto me. You can grow and you can lean on me. You don't need to to want to. You don't need to worry about this this other foundation that you are leaning on. Lean on me and and I just see how you grow so much and then you end. In, end up strengthening the foundation with your roots because you are leaning onto the Lord. Uh, be blessed. Hey, awesome. Uh, Jivan, uh, the Lord showed me uh, a church that he joined and he become part of them. And then the Lord showed me a mechanic shop where they replace an engine. And they, the church was like that beam uh, the, in a roof. And then they hooked the chain on that beam and then they were able to pull out your engine of your car and then put in a new engine and bring a restored redone engine that that's gonna still go for a long while and i felt that the lord says that there is a support system that is placed around you in your life uh, in the body of christ so that he can completely renew you and he can restore every broken area of your life so that you can continue for a long while. Uh, Jivan, God bless you. So the next word is for Anne. All right? So Anne, uh, the Lord shows me uh, that you were in a battle, but you are a warrior and you are armed and even uh, with the documentation you have the proof so that you can win this argument. But the Lord says, I don't want you to stand in the front line of the battle and fight. I want you to pray and to trust me that I will go ahead of you and I will fight the battle on your behalf. And so the Lord is calling on you to, to, to pray, to praise the Lord, to dance before Him, to, to fast before Him and to just trust in the Lord that He will make a way. I remember uh, when Esther um, went before the king, she asked the whole nation to fast and pray. And then she went before, they fasted and prayed, I think, for three days. And then she went before the king. And then the Lord gave her a good answer. And I felt that, that uh, the king gave her a good answer, but the Lord influenced the situation. And I felt that is what the Lord is going to do for you. You're going to trust in the Lord, and the Lord is going to give you the breakthrough. you got a lot of gifts and talents, and you can do things in your own strength. But the Lord says, I want to partner with you, I want to walk with you, and I want you to walk in my strength. I'll just add something. I saw a room with a lot of paintings and art uh, in that room. And I and you've painted a lot of those paintings. And so I just felt that there's a lot of creativity uh, that the Lord has placed in you. And that's part of your gifting. God bless you. Amen. And please leave us a comment in this next video for you, Anna. The Lord shows me how you need to break out of your shell, how you almost need to shed the old skin and release the past and step into the newness that the Lord has for you. The Lord shows me how this, this newness is, is going to start from within. How The Lord shows me how you're softening your heart to be sensitive to His Spirit, but also to be sensitive to others, to really show love 
and really because when you like show love when you reap what you sow but I just see how you are just how you need to start sowing more love and more time into people especially young people I see how you are such an influence but you can be an even better influence when you are working with the love of the Lord and you are sharing that love pouring that love onto others be blessed Oh, hey, awesome. Uh, God bless you, uh, Johanna. Uh, Johanna, I saw a house. It's like the church, the body of Christ, and how you in the house, uh, but you didn't have access uh, to the intimacy. And then I saw how the Lord give you a, a key uh, of first love, and how you just fall in love with the Lord, and you unlock that door to go into the garden, to go into that uh, chamber of intimacy with the Lord, and how the Lord uh, in that place. A gift to you vision and it gives to you uh, you um, just that that uh, confidence and that strength to walk as a daughter of the Lord All right. so I, I felt more things opening up the, the house opened now the room is opening God bless you okay finish the Lord showed me two lists of goals the one is your list of goals and then God's blueprint for your life some of it is the same some of it is not the same. And then I felt that you struggle a little bit. You don't have all the provision you, you need to move forward. And the Lord says, when you come to me and you merge your strategy and God's strategy together, then there's one list and that's you and God agreed upon blueprint for your life. Then you'll see open doors and provision come to you. And so the Lord is calling on you to spend time in his presence, get a paper and say, Lord, what is the goals and the plans that you have for me? Write it down. And then ask yourself the question, but what do I want? And write it down. And then say to the Lord, Lord, how can we merge it? And then make the list that's the combined list that God agrees on and that you agree on. And then you're going to see how the Lord is going to open up provision for you. God bless you, Finnis. Uh, thank you, Finnis. Please leave us a comment. This next one is for uh, uh, Lydia. The Lord shows me you as this horse. And I see that the Lord says that I'm going to give you speed and I'm going to give you I'm going to give you strength and I'm going to give you a, a vision. I'm going to give you a destination where you can just run to. And I see like this is in the spirit, how you are just running to, to this promise that the Lord has for you. But as you are running, you are gaining strength, but you are also needing to drink. So the Lord shows me, even though that I, even though I'm giving you speed and I'm giving you strength, you still need to take time to go and drink of my water. And as you drink from this water, I just see how you just like increase your capacity, your endurance to keep going and to keep um, um, running after the heart of the Father. I'll uh, be blessed. Okay, Lydia, uh, God loves you. Uh, he is not judging you. He is actually loving you, holding you, blessing you, providing for you. All right. God bless you, Lydia. Uh, Latifa, uh, the Lord shows me um, glasses that you have, but the glasses is very, um, there's a lot of dirt on the glasses, and the Lord is coming with His blood and he's cleansing you he's coming with his fire uh, and he's purifying you and i see how he cleanses that glasses and so all suddenly you start to see things in a spirit you start to have a vision for your own life you go into the throne room of the lord and you see the throne of god and it completely changes you uh, I, you become aware of angels uh, of the voice of god even under high pressure situations uh, and you have clear desires and vision for your life and so i just see how the lord is opening up your eyes and and the lord doesn't want you to to wander around but he wants you to walk towards him and he's going to help you he's going to hold your hand he loves you very very much god bless you Amen, Latifa, please leave us a comment. Thanks for this for Dawn. Dawn, the Lord shows me how he is breaking open the vessel and he's just anointing you again to, to speak his word and to and to connect with his word. And like, I just see like you are going in a deeper, deeper place where his word is not just the word, but it is truly, truly life to your body. I just see how, how your bones, how your muscles, how your physical body gets healed and gets strengthened by spending time in the presence of the Lord by reading his word and 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 and, and really engaging his word and not just just quickly reading um, a 
a, um, a, a chapter, but taking a, like a scripture at a time and receiving it and, 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 and learning more about it and just diving deep. I just see this, this deep dive going really, really deep into his word, but really receive that oil that the Lord is pouring onto you because I see how, how your mind is just, just opening up and just getting overflowing and, and refreshed. Be blessed. Hello, Dawn, uh, God bless you. Uh, the Lord is very pleased with you. How you take care of your family and how you try to reach out to them and be a blessing to them and encourage them. All right, God bless you, Dawn. So the next word is for Dricky. Dricky, the Lord shows me candles. Uh, and I think it was first three and then five candles. and uh, But they were not lit. Uh, and you had a box of matches and then you lit the first one and then a second one and then a third one and then you continue to lit uh, two more candles so it's five candles and what the lord was saying to me is that you are going to prophesy and you're going to fill people in your in your life up with holy spirit i see how you lay hands on them they get filled with holy spirit and then you declare god's word over their lives and then as you do it, it stirs a, a, a fire on the inside of them. So they will burn like a candle that's burning. Uh, but then you do the next one and the next one, first three, and then two more, then it's five. Uh, and, you know, uh, three uh, is also a picture of coming into agreement with God. Five is a picture of God's grace and His supernatural provision that is given to you. You know, the five, the hay, the breath of God. And so I just felt that the Lord says that not only has he done it in your life but he's going to use you to do it in other people's lives god bless you amen Ricky. please give us a comment this next one is for lucille lucille the lord shows me how how he wants you to 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 as dad was saying but but stir up stir up the gift of the holy spirit i see how that the that blessing of, of tongues the lord wants you to start praying out loud in tongues and really get that that river flowing in your life and i see how you are walking around your home inside your home and you're just praying in tongues and you are releasing that river of the father because out of your innermost being will, will flow rivers of living water and jesus is the river of life he is the living water and i just see how you are in your home and you are just releasing that living water you are releasing that life inside of your home and i just see how a cleansing is coming to your home and to your family whoever like lives with you a roommate a fam a family member but i just see how there's a cleansing coming but that cleansing will come through through um the power of praying in tongues praying these these mysteries praying what the lord what the holy spirit wants you to pray when you pray in tongues be blessed hey lucille uh, i i saw uh, a, a lot of relationships uh, that are in a broken state and then the lord gave me this word communication breach and i felt that you talk with with the two people maybe you bring them together with you and you act as a as a middle person to help people to restore their communication so they can start to talk again with each other and they can flourish and they can be blessed all right and so i felt there's a counseling anointing on you there's a healing anointing on you uh, but there's also a business anointing on you and so i felt this communication is not going to only produce good relationships but it's also going to produce wealth and prosperity joy people being motivated and excited to continue with life uh, you know sometimes you have a person that says but i want to uh, end my own life i want to commit suicide uh, because this person doesn't have a, a, a breach uh, with their purpose and with their destiny and where they're going and i felt the past and the hurt of the past is too much for them to continue and i just see how you take that person and you help them to lift their eyes up and look at but this is the call the gift the love the the plan of God is for your life and I want you to help that person to connect with Jesus and with the love of God so they can be renewed and they can have the joy of the Lord in their life and they can continue. And so I felt the Lord gave me this word for you, communication breach. And that's going to happen in your own life and your family and even people on the outside. All right. Awesome. Uh, Lucille, God loves you very, very much. He's very proud of you family it was a big pleasure for me and kimmy to minister to you uh, remember to go and check out unity with heaven with the teaching um, videos that we do there uh, i think they're awesome and i don't have a lot of subscribers there we have a lot of people that watch the prophetic ministry so i think it will be good for them to also go and check out the teachings all right so um we're going to be back again monday evening 
to do a live stream and I'll probably have a quite a big team here and we'll minister to a lot of people uh, but um, every single day we minister to 10 people in this format so if you would like to receive ministry write your name in the, in the comments and I'll put you on a list uh, the Lord loves you very very much and we love you too God bless you thank you for joining unity with heaven remember to subscribe like comment and join our newsletter if you want to support us please click on the paypal link may god bless you abundantly remember you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you if you enjoyed this content and you want to see more please click here